Hello, this is Bern, and if you've been struggling with not feeling attractive, beautiful, radiant, confident enough, well, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you what you can do starting today to impact this at the root level so it sticks. Stay with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of man you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, and as a result of stepping into the most alive and the most feminine version of you. Now, I connect with lots of women who don't feel very radiant, don't feel very attractive, and as a result, they also don't feel very confident that they can pull off what they want. And it's not just about attracting the kind of guy that you want, that's like the icing on the cake, it's about how you feel about yourself and how you walk through the world, because this impacts the relationship you have uh, with people at work, with people in your family, with your children if you have some. So what I wanna share with you right now is, first and foremost, that there's two different problems that I see in the way women express or don't express their light sometimes. And the first one is, you have, imagine right now, that you have an endless source of light inside of you. It's a burning, passionate, exciting, powerful, connected light that is at the core of who you are. And there's things that you do in the world and there's things you experience that prevent you from shining that light with a lot of power. Imagine that you get a brightly installed window and it's just been washed and you put some colored tape on top of it. No matter how radiant the sun is, it's not gonna shine inside the house because the tape is preventing the sun from shining. That's the example of you having things, fears, insecurities, thoughts, beliefs that prevent the you from shining to the outside world. Now, there's a deeper problem with light, which is after a lot of time of you not expressing your light and radiance and excitement and feminine magnetism and all that you need to, your inner light starts fading away as well. So it's not just that there's not enough light coming through the screener and filters you've placed subconsciously in yourself, is that the light itself starts dwindling and starts dying and that's when it becomes really, really painful and becomes harder to create the light, the change that you want. So what I'm gonna share with you right now is not just a way for you to catch a husband or catch a boyfriend or be more attractive just for the sake of being more attractive, but as a source of you reconnecting with the highest part of yourself that unfiltered can light up the world. The first one is, the first way you can step into changing this to start feeling more confident, more radiant, more alive, is to tame the inner critic. What do I mean by that? Well, when you decide this is what awesomeness and beautiful look, beauty looks like and you make the wrong assumption and you think it's something outside of yourself, then the likelihood that you'll start criticizing yourself and talking nasty to yourself and loathing yourself or even hating yourself is pretty high. So the first thing that needs to take place, you need to tame the inner critic and recognize that beauty comes in so many different shapes and sizes. The beauty that you see as such attractive in others is partly physical and partly energetic. And the energetic part of you needs to make sure that you're not criticizing yourself endlessly for no reason whatsoever or comparing yourself in ways that are not serving you or being a bitch to yourself and talking to yourself in ways that you would never allow another human being to talk to you but you're doing it, yet you're doing it against you, right? Without recognizing it. So that's the first one. Start talking to yourself and start recognizing that you are far more than what you've perceived yourself to be. Second thing is understand and know what to fear. What do I mean by that? Well, lots of women who are shining their light at a fraction of what they really can shine, it, they're are doing so because they are afraid if I shine more powerfully, what will they think of me? If I show myself to be more expressive and connect to my senses, will they judge me for being a slot, even though it's ridiculous that somebody would do that, but people still do it, right? So uh, if you're afraid of that, then you'll shine less fully so that you won't get that. Or I'm afraid that if I shine more fully, I'll attract more atten attention from men and I don't know how to deal with it, so I might as well make myself small so I don't get attention and then I don't have to reject guys. So all those things that you're fearing right now are 
part of what's preventing you from shining more powerfully. My suggestion is that you understand that there's something deeper that you need to fear. So if you're saying, I fear that I'll be judged, then say, do I fear that I'll be judged more than I fear dying incomplete? Now you have something real to fear. Uh, I'm not expressing myself the way I need to, so I die with my music still inside of me. Well, most likely you will fear dying with your music still inside of you more than some people might judge me incorrectly, right? Or if you're saying to yourself, well, I'm afraid that I will attract the wrong type of guy connecting with me and I'll have to set a boundary and I don't know how to set those. That's one thing you can fear and it's real. Another thing you can fear is what if I never open myself at the level that I need to and I never get to give my heart the depth, the intimacy, the connection, the awesomeness that transpires when I connect to a true soulmate. So fear something more real than your current fear. I'm not saying don't fear. I'm just saying choose something that's far more present, far more punchy and far more real than the thing you've been selectively fearing right now. Third one is rather than saying I need to become that much more expressive, I need to become a radiant goddess of light. And right now I feel like I'm not confident. Well, that's a gigantic freaking step. But if you say to yourself right now, my commitment to myself, to the world, to my future version of me is I'm going to express 1% more light right now, 1% more openness, 1% more vulnerability, 1% more anything that I feel right now is part of what's preventing me from shining more. I'll do 1% more. That seems doable. And then I'll grow step by step into more then that becomes a real possibility for you. Because I think a lot of women right now feel like I need to share so much more and it'll be so much more vulnerable. And what if I'm vulnerable and they take it against me? So what you can do right now is say, I'm going to express 1% more and then I'll sit quietly and judge. Is this human being, this man that I'm expressing myself with, worthy of more expressiveness or not? And if he is, then you can go 1% more. So you go 1% in 1% increments, you can get to be far more open, far more expressive through time so even though there's risk there's significantly less risk than the way you might be positioning to yourself right now next one is understand that it's not the past pain that's creating this fear that you have about future pain it's the memory of past pain the past pain is simply something that took place and if it was something horrendous it was something really traumatic the the memory of it is what prevents you from moving forward so you can't change the pain in the past. The only thing you can change right now is A, your interpretation of what took place and B, give it an empowering meaning that prevents you from experiencing it in the future or diminishes the risk, but also makes you feel more empowered. Redefine what took place in terms that you right now have something more to live for and more to share and more to teach others versus just staying stuck at the level of this unfortunate thing happened and I'm have to suffer through the rest of my life. It doesn't have to be that way. As horrible as it was, you can choose to redefine how to move forward and how to prevent that from happening in the future in a way that doesn't just cut you off from men. Because one way to say, well, I'm never going to get hurt again is I'm just not going to connect with men again, but that's not really doable or sustainable. Next step is to re-examine your beliefs. Part of the reason why you're not opening or shining as full light as you could is because part of your belief right now system might be saying to you, it doesn't really matter. I can be open and I can share my heart, but if your belief is the guy doesn't really exist or he's one in a billion, then it's going to be hard for you to really open up more. If your belief is, well, even if I open myself, he's going to end up cheating on me. Well, then you really won't do it at the level that you need to for it to work. So I need you to re-examine your beliefs and recognize, write on a piece of paper, these are all the beliefs I have right now. And this three, four, five, six are really stopping me from moving forward. You need to know what they are, recognize them. So when they show up, at least you have one more way of saying, is this really true? And the last one is if you want to shine more light, if you want to be more magnetic, if you want to do all those things without the need for extra makeup or a tighter skirt or taller shoes, which are think, things that I don't think really last. It's not a sustainable way to change it. You can all the power to you if you want to do those things. It's just not the thing that's going to help you sustain it. You need to redefine what freedom means. A lot of women are stepping into the world in a way where they are really afraid, just like, mo just like tons of men, of losing freedom. Why? Because you have more to lose now in 2019 than you did in 2010 and then you did in 2000, right? Because there's more options for you right now, thankfully. 
You have more options, you have more possibilities, you have more ways of starting your own business, you have more opportunities at work. So that's a great thing that's happening and you have more to lose. So the likelihood that you'll say, well, if I open up to a relationship, if I'm more radiant, more expressive, and then a guy comes and tries to take it away, well, that's going to stop you from moving forward. So I need you to redefine what freedom means. I need you to know that freedom of the kind where you don't have to talk to anyone about what you're doing, you don't have to share your whereabouts, where you don't have to necessarily compromise on anything. It's only one form of freedom. There is the freedom of being seen, the freedom of being loved, the freedom of being accepted and nurtured and hugged and held and made love to. And that's a different form of freedom. Is there a price to pay? There is a price to pay. But if you choose wisely, you're not going to choose a guy who wants to control. You're not going to choose a guy who wants to just have his will over yours. That's, that's where your right to choose and your capacity to make better decisions in the future kicks in to where you can have both the freedom to be loved, the freedom to be seen, and the freedom to define what you want to have in your life moving forward. Hope this is helpful, insightful, and useful, and it allows you to understand that beauty and radiance is not just about how you look, but it's about the inner work that you can step into that allows the removal of the blockages that are preventing you from shining at your deepest light. If you find this helpful, click like on this video, subscribe or thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and most important of all, uh, if you underneath the video, uh, on the first line of the description of this video, you'll find a link that allows you to understand, go through a master class I created. So you click on it, enter your name and email, and you'll start watching a class I created on how you can create the relationship that you want with less pain than your current trajectory. Now, if you're saying, this sounds awesome, I want your help to re-examine and change my beliefs. I want your help to tame my inner critic. I want your help to to have better definitions of what to really fear. I want to help have your help to guide me through the perilous waters of the dating world. Well, I'll be more than happy to find out if I can help you. Just there's another link on the description of this video that will allow you to apply to connect with me. My, I will read all of them individually. And if I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out and schedule a time to connect. Thank you so much for showing up with awesomeness and light. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.